All right, for this app that I developed about a year ago, I went through the process of uh, optimization. That was kind of one of the last steps of the app development. So anyway, uh, just, just for context, but one of the biggest killers for um, storage space was the textures. Also for load times, it also affected load times too. It used a lot of RAM. So you had to, fe had to fetch a lot of images from the uh, storage your flash memory, load into RAM when the app launches. Even during, sometimes during the app, while the app is running, uh, has to fetch these images, which can slow things down. So the easiest way to get returns on returns on the um, on that to, to to reduce load time and reduce your app size is to compress all your images, all your textures. So here we have. Um, I have one example here. Uh, the um, a texture called Dimensioner Logo, uh, where I thought it selected in here. Oh yeah, uh, it's this logo here. I think it's just not showing up in my. Uh... Oh yeah, uh, there's the image. Um, I have I rearranged my. Um... I rearranged my uh, <laughs> my my panels for this video. So I had these side by side. Anyway, I'm not used to it. So here we got the Venture logo. You can see that I have, this is an Android app. So I have override for Android checked, which gives me a number of options for compression. I, uh, after doing some research, I'd come to the conclusion that RVGA crunched EDC2 was the best for my needs at the time. I think, uh, I think what I determined was it was the best for, for mobile uh, Android applications for the, for most cases, and I don't recall exactly why. I can't remember the exact reasons, um, but but uh, yeah. So um, max size, in, this is the max pixel, basically the max size of the image. So like if it's 32 pixels by 32 pixels, you'll see that it gets fuzzy. Uh, I found 256 was good, but it, by default it could be pretty, it was like 4096 and it was probably rendering at that, that resolution. Uh, it depends on the size of the uh, image file itself. But you're limiting it. So to find out how big things are, or how how badly things are affecting your uh, memory usage and uh, performance, you can go press the play button. You can do it in any order, but uh, press the press the play button. You go to analysis and profiler. Then uh, pick a spot. Just uh, click anywhere in here. Uh, you'll see that your memory, I'd say pick a spot where your memory is the highest. So this is your memory, total allocated memory usage, the green, green line. And, uh, and uh, this may change over the course of your application, but uh, in this case, a lot of the assets are loaded on play. So we can, uh, so you take a sample there. We have to click take sample. So it's taking a sample of all of the, uh, all of these contributors from, uh, you know, Rendering, CPU usage, and everything. But uh, in fact, uh, it's just giving me memory. So um, actually, I could be wrong. I think the take sample just gives you like memory usage here. Oh, my, my memory is a bit my memory is a bit fuzzy. Haha. Ha. Okay. So under the assets, uh, you'll find what you need. So you know you can look under other, and you've got DLLs and all other stuff running, like you know your profiler, which is like the editor stuff using memory. But that will, so a lot of this, some of this stuff won't even exist on your phone. Where you want to look is assets. This is all your, all your stuff that's running in the app right now, like audio, um, audio clips. You know, surprising. Actually, it turns out these are pretty small. Huh? Uh, well, these are just sound effects, though. So textures is by far the highest, um, by far the highest uh, contributor in this app, and it's only 55 megabytes. But the reason why it's 55 megabytes, and I have a lot of textures, is because I compress a lot of them. And what you can do is you can click, and um, you can just click, and then use your up down arrow on your keyboard to find these, you know, the the highest contributing uh, uh, textures in your assets folder. And then you click on them, and then you can um, go to the Android tab if you're building for Android. Click Override for Android, change the max size to what is appropriate, and uh, set your RVGA compress ETC to, for some reason I chose ETC to 8 bits for this one. Um, I can't recall the reason why, 
I figure maybe a color, you know, the color gamut on that, like the color range on this is like white <laughs> and transparent. So I don't need more than uh, eight bit color. I'm not exactly sure why I picked that, but, and um, if I want to just do it for picks. Yeah. So do your homework on these compressions, but uh, if, you know, you can probably just play it safe by picking one and going with that for everything. Sure, that's fine. Oh, look at that. That's what it says. Only textures with width height being multiple of four can be compressed to crunch format. Oh, okay. Well, that's why then. Could have been their reason. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, yeah. And just do that for each texture. Uh, there is a really great resource that I can uh, refer you to. Uh, I can't recall to RGBA. Yes. Uh, I can. Yeah, this one. Texture compression formats for platform specific override. So this is where I went to get like the base information and then I dug into dug into the details. But I I, I think for most most people probably don't need to get into um into the weeds with this too much. Just just do a quick you know do a little bit of homework and then Yeah. Any compressions. As long as it works, it's gonna help. And then uh, there's also audio. The, uh, you can also compress audio. Uh, where are we? Revert. I'm going to change that. That last. Um, that last texture. Okay. So yeah, you can do override for. And this has been a while. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little fuzzy on it. Um, but you can. Um, you can choose your load type. Decompress on load is uh, when the audio clip is playing. When the, let's say you press the play button on that audio clip, you know, the, the audio source starts to play clip, it, that's when it decompresses. So it's, it has a performance hit, which may or may not be noticeable, um, and, but it saves RAM usage, memory usage. Um, so it increases CPU effort, but it reduces memory usage. Um, so you know if it if it's uh, slowing down your system or using a lot of battery, then switch to compressed um, correction. I got this backwards. Decompress on load. No, no. Decompress on load is it decompresses when you press play, and it stores a decompressed version of that sound clip in um, in memory. Compressed in memory is the one where it uses more CPU. So it 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 compresses it. It moves a compressed version of the audio clip into RAM for quick access, but has to decompress on the fly when you press play button effectively. So that uses more CPU, a little more battery life, a little less memory. And streaming, I don't remember what that is, so Google it. Um, preload audio data. I don't recall the purpose of that. Uh, yeah, you can pick uh, your compression format and then reduce the quality. Basically, you know, if it's sound effects that are like UI sound effects, you can probably reduce it quite a bit. If it's like dialogue, maybe you don't want to reduce it as much, but you can just um, you can play with play with it. Um, and sample rates, unless you're timing something to the samples on your audio clip, I think you're safe to play with this. I uh, I haven't played with this on mobile, but um, anyway. Um, if you optimize sample rate, it's probably going to run. Um, probably going to say, well, what's the Nyquist sample rate? In other words, what's the minimum sample rate I need to reproduce this accurately? Um, which is a good thing. So I would, I would, I would say for everything, optimize, try optimize sample rate, see if it sounds good, and then uh, if that's kind of if it's sounding crappy, then go back to preserve, uh, or you can override. You know, you can say, well, I don't need more than forty-four kilohertz. You know, for for my needs or whatever. You you pick, but um, but you can definitely uh, the quality. So it is going to compress. Uh, you can turn the quality down. That means that more compression. You get more uh, memory savings. Uh, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if that affects CPU. If you're doing uh, compressing memory, I'm not sure how that affects CPU. Worth a look. Worth a Google. Um, but yeah. Anyway, the default's already. This is the default's already decompress on load, 100% quality. So it's there is some compression, but the quality is set to super high for everything. That, so that's why we're overriding for Android build. We want it to be 
we want to have some control. By the way, when you're doing this, if you're because you're building for Android, go to build settings and make sure that you have this platform selected. There should be a button down here that says switch platform. Make sure to click that. Uh, you'll have to, if you don't if you can't if you don't have that option available, then you want to go to your installs Unity 2020.1.3 in this case, and uh, you'll want to uh, make sure that Android build support is selected. Uh, with with these two sub sub options selected, and that will and then you'll restart Unity, and this option will be available, and then uh, these these settings will actually apply to your app in the editor when you test, and you'll see the effect. You'll hear the effect uh, as you make changes to your your texture compression and your audio compression. Hope that helps.